Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the concept of mutually exclusive events, conditional probability and also subjective probability followed by objective probability. So total, I am going to explain 5 different topics in this video. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of each of the following concepts in detail. So first I will start with the mutually exclusive events. So now what are mutually exclusive events? The events are said to be mutually exclusive if at most one of them can occur. In other words, if one of the event is occurring, you, uh, no other events can occur simultaneously. Right? So, so for example, if there are 10 events, Suppose, assume that first event is happening, then the remaining 9 events can't occur because already first event is occurring. So, remaining 9 events cannot occur at the same time. Right? So, if one of them occurs, then none of the others can occur. Very simple. So, if you consider any uh, events, right? So, if one is happening, other cannot happen at the same time right so mutually exclusive events are also called as exhaustive events so for example see turning left and turning right are mutually exclusive because either you can turn left or you can turn right you can't do both the things at the same time right either one event can occur not both events can occur at the same time Either you can turn left or either you can turn right. So you can't do both at the same time. And another example is tossing a coin. When you toss a coin, either uh, it can come heads or it can come tails. Both heads and tail, both head and tail can't occur at the same time. So right, either it can be head or a tail. So that is why tossing a coin is mutually exclusive. Not only that, cards example. Either kings, either you can select king or I can you can select ace. Yes. You can't select both, right? So kings and aces are mutually exclusive, right? In simple words, so if one event is happening, no other event can happen, right? Very simple. Now. When two events, if you consider that events as A and B are mutually exclusive, it is impossible for them to happen together. Very simple, right? So either A can happen or B can happen. If, if, if you want both A and B to happen together, it's highly impossible. It's zero, obviously. A and B can't happen together. So the probability of A and B together equals zero. For example, I told you, right, turning, either you can turn left or you can turn right. You can't do both turnings at the same time. So, A and B can't happen together. So, what is the probability of happening, the two events, mutual, two mutually exclusive events? What is the probability? They can't happen together. That's why the probability is zero, impossible, right? Now, another example. So same king and queen I am considering. A card cannot be a king and a queen at the same time. You know that. Either a card can be a king or it can be a queen. But it can't be a king and queen at the same time. Both possibilities is, uh, is not possible. The pro so the probability of a king and queen is zero. The, right? But your output can be king or queen. Either your output can be a, queen, a king or a queen, but it can't be king and a queen. Don't get confused. Suppose if you have any doubts, you can post your doubts in the comment section, right? So, but for mutually exclusive events, the probability of A or B. So, how you to find out the total probability? P of A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B. So, either king can king can occur or queen can occur so that's why if you add both king and queen you are going to get total probability so the probability of a or b equals the probability of a plus probability of b getting my point guys it's very simple right if 
so for example see in a deck of 52 cards what is the probability of uh, king can occur and what is the probability of queen can occur means the probability of king is 1 by 13 so p of king is 1 by 13 in the same way queen queen probability is also same because if king is 1 by 13 again queen is also 1 by 13 so when we combine these two events the probability of king or queen will be 2 by 13 getting by point so this is the total probability of king or a queen can occur either king can occur or a queen can occur at a probability of 2 by 13 right very simple right so this is the total probability this is the probability you can select king or a queen 2 by 13 times getting my point so but if you consider p of king and queen obviously it is zero at the same time you can't choose king and queen at the same time but either you can choose king or queen at it at what is the probability at probability rate of 2 by 13 getting my find guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right sorry now what is conditional probability this is the second concept of this video so very simple if you consider any two event right the probability of an event occurring given that another event has already occurred is called a conditional probability don't get confused here so if you have two events assume that we have two events for second event to happen the condition is first event should be completed so the first event should be completed right afterwards second event can occur that is the condition what is the condition here second event can occur if and only if the first event was or the sorry if, if and only if the first event is completed getting my point so if and only if the first event is completed then the second event can occur very simple that's why it's conditional probability that is the condition for a second event to happen uh, first event should be completed so see so recall the when two events a and b are dependent the probability of both occurring is what p of a into p of b so i don't want to confuse you guys so to this is the formula to find out the conditional probability i don't want to drag this so how to find out the conditional probability means p of b or p of p of b or a is equal to p of a and b divided by p of a why i am doing this means for b to occur a should be completed first that is the conditional probability that's why i'm considering both the events a and b here in this formula but i'm dividing by the probability of a because for b to happen a should be completed first right so that's why this is the formula now i will take the example so i will take an example of uh, test example here so vishesh took two tests so he took two tests the probability of her passing both the tests is 0 0.6 and the probability of her passing the first test is 0 0.8 so he need to consider both the tests so what is the probability uh, Vishesh took two tests. So what is the probability? The probability of her passing both the tests is 0 0.6. The probability of passing the first test is 0 0.8. So now we know that the probability of passing the first test is 0 0.8. Then we can calculate the probability of the second test. So to find out the probability of the second test, the, what is the condition? The given that C has passed the first test. Getting my point? To find out the probability of the second test, the condition is she must pass the first test. Otherwise, you can't find out the probability. So, according to the formula, see here, P of B or A, right? B is what here? Second, A is first. 
सो पी ऑफ सेकेंड आर फर्स्ट इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बिलिटी ऑफ बोथ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई पी ऑफ फर्स्ट बिकॉज सो इफ 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 यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ द सेकेंड टेस्ट कंडीशन इज वाट शी मस्ट हैव पास द फर्स्ट टेस्ट सो वॉट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ पासिंग वॉट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ आर पासिंग द सेकेंड टेस्ट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ आर पासिंग द सेकेंड टेस्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो हाउ आई फाइंड आउट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ पासिंग द सेकेंड टेस्ट बाई कंसिडरिंग द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ आर पासिंग द फर्स्ट टेस्ट सो दिस इज द कंडीशन to find out the probability of the second test or first she must have passed out the first test getting my point suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section so next i will take subjective probability so subjective probability refers to the probability of something happening based on individuals own experience or personal judgment in simple words so i am going to predict the probability not by any fact or not by any logic i am not using any logic here to predict the probability i am going to predict by i am going to predict the probability by using my own experience and my personal judgment i am not using any logic here based on my gut instinct i am going to predict the probability that is subjective probability it is de purely dependent on the subject it's purely dependent on that particular person who is going to predict that probability right so it's based on his own experience is based on his own personal judgment and it this subjective probability can differ from person to person because it is created from the opinion of the individual not on the fact so it's purely based on the opinion of an individual and it's not based on the fact that's why subjective probability can uh, differ from person to person i'm going to suppose if i uh, i can tell the probability is 6 other person can uh, can tell the probability is 10 because it's his opinion and this is my opinion so it's entirely different from person to person because i am not using any fact here to predict the probability right so i am going to consider an example see here an individual is asked the probability of a dice roll yielding a 6 a individual i asked them to ask the probability of a dice roll yielding a 6 so what the individual will do means the individual looks at the past three rolls and notes the six came up in all instances so he considered the past three rolls and notes down that the six came up in all three instances so the individual believes that the probability of the next dice roll yielding at six yielding a six is 30% so he is telling that yes you can get six but what what is the probability probability is 30% based on what he is telling that based on his Uh, based on his uh, right uh, personal judgment right based on his personal judgment is predicting that a 6 can uh, output can be a 6 uh, so what is the percentage 30% so but mathematically what can be the prediction here but mathematically the prediction is 16.67 but based on his gut instinct is the gut instance is telling that the probability is 30% understanding my point he is not using any fact he is not using any mathematics to prove this he is just predicting based on his opinion right so that's why this is subjective probability please if you have any doubts you can post your doubts in the comment section next i will take up with the objective probability it is exactly opposite to the subjective probability so objective probability refers to the chances or the odds that an event will occur based on the analysis of accurate measures rather than hunches or guessworks in simple words so i am not uh, doing any guesses here i am not doing any guesswork here other than that i am using a proper logic to predict the probability here each measure is recorded observation or it's actually a, a, a it is a fact 
it is not any guesswork it is a long history of collected data it can be it can be a long history of collected data and it can be a recorded observation it can be a mathematical calculation that means in simple words i am not doing any guesswork here i have a proper plan i have a proper uh, theory to predict the probability right for example one could determine the objective probability that a coin will land its up by flipping it 100 times and recording each observation so here he is not uh, is not uh, doing any guesswork here what he is doing means he is flipping the coin 100 times and recording each observation for uh, so this would likely yield an observation that coin landed on its approximately 50% of the times obviously if you flip it 100 times when you record it most probably you can land uh, it can land on its 50% of the time so here he is not guessing that each for each time he is recording that observation based on that he is telling that 50% of the time it can come so it is a purely objective probability it is not at all a subjective probability so that's it guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching